Firstly, you want to pull up the keypad. Here is the keypad, which has the different functions, rests, articulations, pauses, and note lengths. It's called the keypad. Now you get that simply through Command, Alt, and K. Command, Alt, K toggles between the keypad being on and off. Now, typically you would use your numeric to actually enter. The numeric keypad on your keyboard uh, represents all of these functions here. This is like a, a representation of your numeric keypad. But of course on the laptop, you don't have that. But the way to work around that is to use a virtual numeric keypad, which is created simply by pressing Alt. And then this area becomes your numeric keypad. All right, so Alt Q, look what happens when I press Alt Q. It selects the natural. Alt W selects the sharp. Alt E, the flat. Alt A, here we go, it selects the crotchet or quarter note, depending on which side of the Atlantic. Minim, half note, whole note, semibrieve. And then we have the eighth note or quaver on, yeah, ZXC is quaver, semiquaver, demi semiquaver. And then if you want to get to the next set of functions, as you can see at the top here, there are notes, rests, and other functions. You pressed Alt and F. That moves you to the next set along. Okay, Alt F again you, moves you to the next set along of um, these tremolos, etc. Then you have pauses, articulations, up bows, down bows, repeat marks, and um, glissandi and different types of things. So that's done by Alt F. And then in the same way, you can use your Q, W, E, A, S, D, Z, X, C in order to access the various functions on the keypad. So that's how you use your laptop keyboard and create a virtual numeric pad on your laptop keyboard. Hope this helps.